So Omar is downstairs in the cage. He went go popo. I had him up for a half hour. He did the dance more than once. One more can be summed up in one phrase. He's a fucking pain in the ass. He doesn't want to go poopoo outside, so, and he'll go in the house immediately. He used to drive my mom batty. Because she'd think, oh, he's doing it on purpose. I'd be like, well, mommy's a dog. You know, we really can't attribute our feelings to him, but it sure seems that way. You know? He doesn't go outside when you have him out for a long time. She'd be like, I had him out for a long time, Lauren. He, now he, he went in the house, and I had him out. I know, Mom. He's in the cage. I had him over a half hour. This is my first meal of the day. It's almost 2.30. And it's because... I only slept 2.30 to 6.30, then I was up doing shit, watching my videos and whatnot that I'd uploaded. Then I went back to bed from 12 and woke up at 1.30. And I woke up awake. I woke up on my own. I'm glad I didn't wake up like three hours later like I usually do because it's beautiful out. I'm going to miss the day, whole day anyway, sleeping. Interesting thing about Massachusetts, though, a lot of times it actually warms up as the day progresses. You'd think it would be opposite as, as, as it heads towards sundown. It would be less warm, but... Sometimes it gets the warmer, like around five or My little half cup of cereal. <laughs> when is a half cup of cereal ever enough? The answer is never. <laughs> I have other stuff. I'm with it. So, I'm not a happy camper. In two weeks' time, uh, this, this, this morning, I found a th another tick on me. That's three times I found a tick on me in just like two weeks' time period. That's not good. Mm. Remember I said I wasn't going to say anything to my roommate about putting any kind of flea and tick medication on his dog, but I sure as hell um, have a right, and I'm going to say, you know, I'm finding ticks on me. I want to give you a heads up. I didn't say anything. I actually sent him an email. It pretty much said, you know, I just wanted to give you a heads up. I found three ticks on me on three different occasions in the past two weeks. They're baby ticks. They're in the, the nymph stage. Um, I got them off me before they attached. Um, so watch out for your dog who has long hair. I basically made somewhat of a casual thing of it. I said, you know, watch out for your baby who has long hair and can't, like a human being, can't, like I as a human being, you can't pick the tick off of him, you know? Well, that's what you call a subtle hint without directly saying, you know, why don't you put the fucking flea stuff on your, your dog? Obviously, there's a problem here if I found three ticks on me at two weeks' time. Um.
And I'm not saying I got it for the dog either. I go out with Omer and he won't go poo poo as we've already established. He won't go poo poo anyway. He's so fucking stubborn. So if I go into trees, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm easy prey for the goddamn tick. Um, I'm going to stop doing that. It was just too much. Especially since I lived with my mom and I never found a single tick on me. Same with when I stay with Joe this summer. I can find a single tip on me. I'm not happy about it. I'm not happy. It makes me feel, you know, icky. It makes me feel like there's more, you know. Although, I'm not, I'm, um, I've never had to deal with this before. Um, it's a third, it's a ba they're babies, they're nymph stage ticks, they're little ones. Um, I know it's a tick, I know what a tick looks like. I can't be anything else, it's a fucking tick. Baby ticks. And apparently those are the ones who are more likely to spread Lyme disease. Anyway, ticks, uh... Oh, I lost my train of thought here. I don't know what I'm gonna say. Oh. I just now feel like, you know, that they might be on me anyway, but it's not this it's not that he the thing is the dog's dark. If I had to say something, but I said it very casually. I didn't mention. I just said, "Watch out for him." That's not ordering to put Frontline Plus or other or, or Advantix or anything. There's other things you can do. You can check them all the time. You can bat, bathe them all the time. You can, but you got to do something. You know, you can't just you know, dogs can't pick the ticks off of them. And I sure as hell, I'm not gonna. I draw the line at that. I'm not doing that on his dog. No fucking way. It's his fucking dog. I'll take care of him to a point, but, you know. Anyway, I'm not happy. I'm finding ticks on me. So I've been studying about it. And I actually didn't look at the number of legs. If it happens again, I'll look at the number of legs. They have apparently eight legs. Um... They say that they're like a, they're not actually an insect. They're an aquanid or something. I don't know. All I know is I don't look at the legs, but it looked damn like a tick. What else is it? What looks like a tick that's not a tick? They're ticks. They have to be. Mm -hmm. Too upset and too gross out to look at the legs. I didn't even know to do that, but now I can. They're very tiny. They're nymph stage ticks. Um, I found that out. Oh, I know what I was going to say. See, I lose my train of thought. Apparently, you can avoid, you have very, very, very slim chance. Well, first of all, only 25%, I guess, of ticks even have the Lyme disease. So. But you have a very slim chance of getting Lyme disease if you get a tick off of you within 24 hours of it biting you. I'm thinking, wouldn't somebody know that a tick gets attached to them? But probably not. Maybe not. Maybe people don't pay attention. I don't know, because people do get Lyme disease, and animals can get Lyme disease. So... So obviously I wasn't just being paranoid or whatnot when I was worried about this house becoming infested with fleas or, or ticks or, or whatnot, okay? If I've had three ticks on me in two weeks' time. And that's because ticks thrive in... Think about it, my mom lived in a mobile... I should say, oh, I want to say lives. Okay, we'll say still lives. Even though she's spent the last two and a half, three months going on three months it's going to be in a couple of different mental hospitals and one medical hospital briefly um 
I mean, she lives in an area, think about it, elderly, mobile park home, tons of rules, you're expected to keep your yard immaculate, no trash, no nothing, okay? You can take that as you want. I'm just, let me, I'm telling you, the ticks thrive in brush and clutter and, and whatnot. And I've been studying it. I don't know if you can hear that. That's Omer down in the cage. At least it's not a carrier like we used to put him in. And with my mom, you know, it's a nice big, you know, nice, nice, good size cage. It wouldn't matter if it was a hundred foot cage. If he would still cry if he was in there by himself and he knew I was up here. Mm. Mermaid Star is outside for the first time today. Not the first time, because he puts them out in the morning before he goes to work, too. But I mean, the first time I've put them, put them out. He barked immediately, of course. Um. So that's it. Three times in two weeks. That's just not good. I told old mom, like, you know what? He's so fucking fussy, but I'm not going to take him on the train anymore. I'm not going to be where I... I'm, I'm, you know, I'm paranoid now. I'm going to take a shower and wash my hair. I guess I forgot to write it down last time, but I know it's been has to have been a few days since I washed my hair. See, very unlikely to get Lyme disease if you get it. And also, you can get it treated if you you don't, you know, if you realize that that's what it might be or whatnot. But, you know, what a pain in the ass. I'd rather not be faced with that, you know. It's not like I'm going hiking in the woods. I'm just taking Omar out in the yard to, to do his business. And ticks love the trees and the shade and whatnot, you know. They love it, so... And I, my, I would bet, too, that Mobile Park Homes, you know, they have all that upkeep. They expect they probably spray for them, too, I would bet. I'm sure they do all kinds of things. I don't know. All I know is there's woods there, and it's even, you know, it's less. It's, you know, and, and I never had a tick on me, ever. And I was with my mom that first whole summer. No ticks on me. Once, I think, when it was heading towards... And it was actually unexpected, and I freaked out because I didn't have stuff on Omar um, because it wasn't even spring yet. Um, but I started taking the house, but that was it. Thing is, even if Omar had ticks on him and the stuff wasn't working for some reason. Like the ticks had become immune to it or whatnot. He, you've seen his hair. It's light. I could see a tick on him, you know. It's short hair and it's light. His dog's not like that. I ain't searching that dog for ticks. I don't have to, you know. It's his responsibility. If he doesn't take the responsibility, then oh well. Oh well. Just like I can't worry about everything. I can't... You know, my mother and I are separate people. I, I can't continuously worry about my mother. I'm not. I can't continuously worry about his dog either. You know. So I did my part for the dog, because that's who I'm doing it for. You know. I didn't want to say a damn thing. Even last time I was downstairs when there was a tick on me, and I just drowned it in the sink. I, I felt it, I drowned it, and I didn't say a word to him, and he was around. But you know what? Now it's just reaching ridiculous. I, 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 without, you know, I was very casual, like I said, but I said something in an email to him. Because, just, I'm doing it for the dog. Who else am I doing it for? Am I doing it for me? No. Because if the dog brings ticks, stay on host, you know what I mean? If there's ticks on me, it's probably because I've brought them in. You know, after I've been outside with Omar, I have to be careful myself. No, I'm doing it for the dog. 
I'm certainly not doing it for me or for my roommate. I'm doing it for the fucking dog. My roommate's off in La La Land and he's not, you know. And now when he has a new girlfriend, he'll probably be more off in La La Land. Than even before. And he works long, long hours, you know, and so I'm doing it for the dog. I did what I could and that's it. Last time I'll have to tell him, you know, I sent you an email, make sure you check your junk mail, because last time he's telling me he didn't get the pictures that I took of Omar and his, him and Omar asleep on the chair, and I said, check your junk mail, I get things in my junk mail that are good, and sometimes, and lo and behold, because I'm like, I sent it and it didn't come back to me, you have to have it, he found it. <coughs> I'll do the same thing this time. Knowing him, because he's not an idiot, he'll get, he'll read that, and he'll read between the lines, and it'll spark his, oh, I probably should put something on my dog, see? That's my plan. But I'm, it's not me nagging, and it's not me, I'm not going to outright say it. Are you going to, I'm not going to say, did you, or are you going to? Because <coughs> even Donald was like, you know, well, how do you know he didn't? Because I just don't believe that he did, that's why. Because he's the type who would tell me, or I'd see the box lying around or something. I don't believe for a second that he did it. But this will give him a little hint without being, you know, totally, you know, totally spelling it out. And then, that's it. I've done my part for that dog. Seriously. Something happens to the dog. The dog gets Lyme disease or whatever. I'll cry for him. But you know what? He's not my responsibility. I have enough to worry about in my own life and worry about Omar and whatnot. My roommate's dog is not my responsibility. I take care of him to a point, which means just giving him food and water and putting him out, and I might start walking him, but that's it. I sure as fuck am not going to be taking care of him any more than that. And with that, finish my apple cider vinegar drink, and I'm going to give Omar another chance. Remember, he already had a half hour. The second chance right now is only going to be a few minutes, see if he goes. It's not going to be another half hour. I have other things I have to do than spend my life trying to get Omar to go poo poo. He can go in the cage, and then I'll take him out periodically. And before I get in the shower, I'm going to take him out one last time. Just before I get in the shower, and then I'll take him out after I get out of the shower. But you know what I mean. No, I haven't called my mom's social worker yet. I haven't called my mom. I haven't done anything. And I have to be prepared to do it. And that is why Cheryl said you probably should try to talk to the social worker before you talk to your mom. I have to be prepared to do it. This is all new to me. Usually I'm shut out from knowing anything. I've never been, you know what I mean? So, this is big and I have to, you know, I have to prepare myself psychologically.
Oh, one last thing that I wanted to tell you guys. Um, you know how my 587 New Balance running sneakers, and because I only wear SL2 New Balance, I'm very, very limited. There's only like two pairs, and the woman on the phone said, you know, I wouldn't recommend the, I think it's the 1540 or 1040, whatever it is. It's the other one that's SL2, and um, I don't know it by offhand, but it's 1040 or 1540, and she said, customers have complained that it digs into them on the front a little bit. Well, these sneakers were doing that to me last night when I was walking to the store. And I'm thinking, they always say, and by they I mean anybody, even recently in the New Balance person, and I, it's, it's bullshit. They always say, well, you can find out if a sneaker fits you right just walking around the house for 20 minutes. No. I've had problems before where I walked around the house, around the house, thought the sneakers were fine, and, I, and then they were... I report. I returned them even though I'd ordered them online. One time I returned them to the store. I'm like, you know, these are defective. They are digging into me. I'm sorry I wore them outside, but you know, what do you want? They it didn't happen while I was in the house trying them out. And same thing now. I don't know what's going on with these sneakers, but in any case, remember I'd gone to the New Balance place and while I was standing up, she had punt had said, you know, you should have a thumbs width, and she's like, no, she's like, you should be in an 11 and a half. Well, guess what? Lo and behold, I went to the New Balance site. These sneakers don't come in an 11 and a half, and that is why. Apparently, they don't make half sizes for all their sneakers. They don't have an 11 and a half. That's why I wasn't finding them in any site. And furthermore, I go to different sites like Zappos or Shoe Buy or whatever, and they're saying, we really recommend that whatever your natural shoe size is, for sneaker sizes, you get a half small, a half size smaller for this sneaker because customers are saying it runs long. So what the fuck? I got measured. I've got measured more than once. I'm definitely 11 on one foot, 10 and a half on the other foot. And they recommend that you get a half size whatever your normal size would be, which if, if my normal size sneaker, apparently I should be, if, I'm, if I measure 11, I probably should have been an 11 and a half. So they say to get an 11. So in the end, I'm probably just gonna, gonna keep those because they don't come in a half size. I mean, what the fuck? I can only do what I can do, you know? I can only do what I can do, but I hate discrepancy, but, you know, she told me when I talked to her for quite some time, the New Balance woman, she was very nice, Alexis, I said, why are the discrepancy on different sites or different whatever? She's like, because they go by customers, and sometimes customers really don't know what they're talking about. And you might be a different person than that particular customer, so don't even pay attention to reviews and whatnot unless you have their specific, what, exactly what they describe how they are, you know, and... I don't know, but if a whole bunch of sites are saying this shoe runs long, customers say the shoe runs bigger, you should get a half size smaller, well then 11 should be fine for me. <clears throat> Ideally it should be, if you're going to pretend I'm in 11 and a half, I damn well wouldn't be wearing a 10 and a half, so, but 11 should be fine. And She said it wasn't, she said no, see I can feel your toe right there, I'm like, I don't this is when I didn't know, and I thanked her, and I'm like, okay, I'll go get 11 and a half. Well, guess what? I can't. They don't have them. They don't make 11 and a half in this particular sneaker. So for now, I'm just going to deal with it. I'm just going to have, and he just barked. Probably should bring them in. I'm just going to have, I'm just going to wear them. You know, there's some room at the toe. It's not like it's killing, scrunching my toe. She just says it should have that thumbs width, and she could feel my toe. She's like, I shouldn't even be able to feel your toe. And she said about herself, she wears a whole size larger, so you don't scrunch the toe. Which means, if if her, she says my foot, say her foot's a size 8, she's like, yeah, I wear a 9 sneaker. Like a whole size bigger, she's like, yep. 
And I'm like, yeah, but if I did that, that would mean this foot's like a 10 and a half or not quite an 11. And that foot, my left foot's an 11. If I'm in a 12, that, and she's like, you know what? I, I can feel your toe even on your right foot. So, I don't know. So maybe in certain sneakers I would wear a 12. So in this sneaker I'd be an 11 and a half, but they don't make an 11 and a half. I mean, I don't know. It is not an exact science that we've already, already established. But... I, even if I don't power work today, it's okay. I want to shower and wash and dry my hair with my henna shampoo and conditioner. I remember, I can even power walk at 6 o'clock at night. Get back by like 7.30, even it won't even be dark yet. I want to shower and I want to I, I wanna wash and dry my hair. I'm going to do that let his dog in. Let his dog in. Dog would love, the dog would love to just be out all day long, but he can't. That's life in the fast lane, Bones. If you were trained not to bark, you could stay out all day. You're not trained not to bark. You're not trained not to hump Omar. You're not trained to do much, you know, he's not trained, period. But I can't talk because neither is Omar, so, you know, they make a pair, don't they? Alright, I've eaten a small breakfast in peace. So it's kind of just like a snack. And see if he's a good boy. If he's not a good boy, he goes back in the cage. Oh, just as one final note. You know how I was thinking people might be wondering why I'm around all the time, why I don't work. But people also know that nowadays, I mean, my cousin, the one who came down from another state, for a while, now that when she came down, she wasn't. She actually had a job in an office. But at one point, my mom told me she was, and actually, no, I think she maybe she does it. She has a whole like three different jobs. Or I don't know, but there are people that work online, so it's they're not going to necessarily think that that I don't work unless I actually say. So what do you do for a living? Well, actually, I'm crazy, and I'm on social security disability. Have a nice day.